Emma Lou with Heartfelt Creations. It's great to be back for this online virtual event. Just want to say thank you for the Scrapbook Expo team for kicking this off. We're going to have a fun day together. Now today I'm going to be back sharing some great tips on flower shaping. If you haven't seen these before, this is a great way to learn how to create those paper flowers um, just from stamps, dies, and a shaping mold. So join me, um, come on back, and we'll have some fun learning how to create these, and then we'll also add them to an actual card base that is shaped. It's really fun, beautiful, and a pretty simple technique. Now this is our Blazing Poppy Stamp and Die Set. If you're completely new to this, this is a stamp that stamps all the images at one time so you get all the different sizes very beautifully stamped. Um, so this is a beautiful versatile flower so you can do those beautiful poppies the easy way. Now if you're just starting up, sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, that looks pretty, but I don't know if I could do that. So we're gonna go through those simple steps and we're gonna do some fun uh, embellishing with the center. So this is the Blazing Poppy die. So I pre-stamped this in black on a 100, par 100 pound deluxe flower shaping cardstock and I die cut it out. So we're ready to color this. So you have partial color. Um, I am using the Tiger Lily Archival Ink as a base. Um, to add a little bit of that light color. So I'm using those triangular sponge daubers and I like using those because they have a sharp tip and they will just allow you to add some quick, beautiful, easy coloring. And because of the sharp tips, you can also do some beautiful shading very quickly and easily. The next color we're adding is the carnation red. Um, so as you're joining, let me know where you're watching from, what you're excited to learn today, and have you been part of it, a virtual event before? Is this your first time? Tell us what you like about it. Now, if you've never done any flower shaping, I know that the first time you see this, it's like, oh my gosh, Emily, this is pretty, but could I do this? If you just like go back and rewatch this, you'll find that this is a very simple technique that you can add as much or as little layers as you like. So whether you are a scrapbooker or a card maker, you can really um, add the dimension and personalize the color to what you like. Now the flower I'm using today is one of the uh, versatile ones that uh, paper crafters from all around the globe really love to use um, because you can do so many different color variations, you can do different styles with it, lots of different layers. So if you just wanted to do one layer, you could totally do that, embellish the center. Um, but today I'm gonna do what I call more of a gourmet flower, okay? So that means it's more, um, it's more deluxe, it has a lot more leaves, and it's very dimensional. So as we go through, just think about, you know, when you're doing projects, you can really add dimension based on what you're working with. Um, so um, this is the basic. Now the next step, what most crafters struggle with the most is shaping. So we have these flower shaping molds that will do the shaping for you, and then you can add some more shaping if you wish, totally up to you. So this is our basic shaping mold, which means this mold will coordinate with a lot of our flower basics that do not have specific molds they shape with. Now we do have some molds that coordinate specifically, so like say you're shaping with a rose or some other flowers, the, those are some. But this is a basic shaping mold, so if you want to have just some creases and crinkles in your flowers, you can lay them in as long as that flower fits. Um, so like our, um, we have a couple different flowers that will work with that. Um, if you're not sure which flowers work with, you can always ask and we'll be happy to help you with that. Today I'm just shaping one flower, but typically I have this completely full and then you can shape them all at one time, which is a huge time saver. It saves pressure on your hands. Plus, if you're a new flower shaper, it will make that your flowers turn out beautiful every single time. So you just put the lid on. Um, we have a mold compatibility list so you can um, see which machine that those go through. Um, if you go to our website at heartfeltcreations.us and you click on the mold that you love, there's gonna be a compatibility list that will see um, if the molds fit through your machine. Now, while that's running through, we'll just give you another close-up of this beautiful poppy flower. They are super versatile. This is just a more the glamorous one. Um, here is one that's a little bit lighter colored with 
different flower centers. Um, and then here we have one that's more for a wedding. So if you, you do something that is super uh, pastel, you can do more layers in different sizes and you get a beautiful kind of wedding flower based on how you pull that together. So when we come out with a flower, we always look for versatility so you can use it for more than just one occasion and versatility is very important. So when this comes out, this flower is shaped and it has a beautiful crease in here. But I wanted to show you how you can take it to the next level. You could totally just leave it like this and you could always go to um, just layering three um, layers of multiple sizes together, two layers or whatever you prefer. But today we're gonna do what I call an extra crinkle technique. Before we go to that, if you have been looking at the molds, you don't have one yet, and you're like, oh my goodness, I really love this. This would really enhance my flower shaping. We do have a promotion today just for you, um, and that is you get a free shaping mold with a purchase. That means you get it completely free. It's a $30 value. Just enter code 663564 when you're checking out and it expires July 1st. So that is an amazing um, opportunity to get those shaping molds you've been eyeballing or if you have one that you missed, um, we have lots of different choices. The shaping mold, if you're starting out, the basic one that I'm showing today is a great one to get started with and the blazing poppy is a great companion. So you just pinch that to give it a pleating technique. The, the um, creases were already in there, so that makes it really beautiful. Now, your next step is you're going to just go ahead and add the flower centers. Now, I am um, adding some very large flower centers to, get, to create more of what I call a flower corsage or a flower that you will hand give. Now, if I'm not hand giving this and I wanna send it by mail, I will do a less dimension um, to put in an envelope. Or if you're sending it to somebody super special that you wanna just brighten their day, you can always put it in one of our clear envelope boxes or put it in a padded envelope. So you have that hole in there and then we're ready to layer these together. So to layer these together, I am using two different um, stamen packs today. The, the big one in the middle is the rose hip stamens. And this one is a very beautiful one that adds the large and then the rock candy stamens are surrounding it. Those are two super versatile ones that I don't want you to miss out on. Um, lots of crafters really love those, but I altered the stamen today. So all I did was I added what I call prills. Those are not pearls, they're prills, which means there's different sizes in there. So all I did was I took my stamen, I actually took the red because you're gonna be able to see a little bit of the red through that and um, we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of glue right on top. Um, just go ahead and just sponge that glue around that big stamen. And then you can go ahead and just dip that into your prills. This color I'm using is Power Outage. And then if you do one coating and it's not completely covered, you can always let that dry, put another coating on, and really coat that very well. So I do have one that is already dry, which is this one. Um, so we're going to wrap that with our um, rock candy stamens in red, and that creates a beautiful flower center. Isn't that pretty? Um, so once you've done that, you're just going to grab your flowers and just pop that down the middle. Um, now as that's coming through, I like to grab my hot glue gun and just go ahead and add that glue right around those centers. And if you like a super dimensional flower, just bring that first layer up pretty tight and just hold it for a little bit, okay? Um, isn't that pretty? So tell me what you're loving. Tell me, have you made flowers before or is this completely new for you? Um, this is a day that if you haven't participated in a live online event like this, um, it's just super fun. You'll see lots of amazing demos throughout the whole day. And I would highly recommend, like if you see something, uh, make sure that you get your shopping done um, so that you don't miss out. Um, there is limited stock on some of the items that we're showing, so make sure that you don't miss out on that. And make sure that you get your free shaping mold with your purchase. Um, and the free shaping molds, all you have to do is just add the code 663564 um, and it expires July 1st. So you'll get a free shaping mold of your choice. Just add it to the mold you like into the cart with a purchase and you will get that one for free when you enter the code. So here we go. We'll add the third layer in there and you have that beautiful flower. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you can pair it with leaves. You can cluster it together however you want. We have a 
leaf. Um, if you would like to see the leaf that um, we used with this one, let us know. Um, we have a leaf set that has different styles of leaves in it with a leaf shaping mold that's very pretty with this. But all I did is I took three of the same size um, and layer them together. So this is the largest size and this is the second size. And I just glued these on a piece of cardstock and I trimmed away the piece of cardstock and I just do that so I can easily hold this while I'm demoing. At home, I would keep these apart and just add them to your projects so you can see where you want to lay them and layer them. Our next step is going to be adding these beautiful flower clusters to a card the easy way. So I went ahead and I grabbed a die that works beautifully with one of our uh, swing fold cards. So um, if you are new to Heartfelt Creations, we do have some card bases that are shapes. And these card bases will allow you to create interactive cards very easily that you don't have to cut out. So this comes in a pack of six pieces, and all you have to do is just open it up. Everything is ready for you to layer on. So there is a circle die that coordinates with it, which is, in this one, I like to use the rounded eyelet window die. This one has five pieces, super versatile. In fact, when you purchase something with us, all you have to do is type this name into the search box. It'll bring up the item, and you can see multiple videos and card samples of what we did this one, so you maximize your versatility. So today, what we're gonna do to add this to a card base is I took a six by six card panel from the Blazing Poppy paper collection, and I glued that on the inside because we're going to create a card base that sits up like this. Cut out my circle with the coordinating die, and then all I did was I took the die with a Lux gold cardstock, cut that scallop, and then you're ready to layer the other pieces on top. What's so cool is you could just do this piece, which would give you just the eyelet, or you can choose to use all three pieces, and you get a different styles based on how you layer it together. So this is what I did is I layered this together, ran that through my machine using the Lux cardstock. Speaking of Lux cardstock, if you love gold cardstock that has an amazing sheen to it, this is a beautiful gold cardstock that our crafters absolutely rave about. You get a package of 12 pieces, eight and a half by 11, and it's 95 pounds. It is absolutely beautiful, and it makes cards really pop very quickly. So if you have a basic card you're working with, um, very fun to do. So I'm gonna create an easel card. Um, I know so many of us love interactive cards. Um, so I did a um, three-dimensional foam dots on this, and I wanted to create something that's a simple showstopper. So after you've run those dies through, cut them out, all you have to do is just layer it on top. And you can see how quickly this makes a very stunning card front. So I'm gonna layer this on here. Um, if there's any item that you're like, wait, where did this come from? Um, we will add the links in the comments. Um, so you can click on those or just go to heartfeltcreations.us um, and you can type in Blazing Poppy and that will bring up um, the Blazing Poppy products and then the basic shaping mold um, is what I used um, for the shaping. So after you've done that, if you wanted to have this standing up, um, you could have this going in any direction, but I made it go up and down today. Um, and then you could just layer your cluster here. You could add a sentiment down here, and that card would be completed. So you can actually, if you wanted to, you could magnetize this by putting a magnet underneath here and underneath here so they can take it off, and they could then use it as a pin collage if you wanted to do make this into more of a gift item. So those are just some great ideas um, on how you can create kind of a gift card combination as well. Um, so before we go, I just wanted to show you some more samples on how you can create with the Blazing Poppy. Um, here is a little mini album that was done with this. The Blazing Poppy papers are gorgeous. Um, those are really super stunning. You can do different color styles. Um, so this one is that more wedding flower and um, then you can do kind of just the traditionals. I don't know about you, but my mom plants a lot of poppies um, during the summer. They are in full bloom right now. They are some of the most stunning flowers you'll ever find. So um, I think you will have an absolute blast um, creating one of a kind poppies um, the easy way. So um, I can't wait 
to see what you create with these. Um, if you don't have the Blazing Poppy stamp die or mold yet, uh, make sure to get yours right away so you can get started creating these beautiful one-of-a-kind flowers. Um, if you have any questions, leave those comments. We'll get those answered for you. Um, and if you have been wanting to do some shopping, you've got those items on your wish list, um, make sure you take advantage of that free shaping mold um, with a purchase. That code is 663564. Is that correct? Yep. Um, so I have thoroughly enjoyed my time with you. I can't wait to see what you create based on what I showed today. Uh, have an amazing rest of your day and we'll add the links below and you can shop for those items at heartfeltcreations.us. We'll see you next time. Bye!